All right, we're uh, working on a 2016 Chevy, uh, 6L80 transmission. They put a thermostat in the cooler on these. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I like to use to uh, bypass that thermostat. And um, a lot of guys like to delete the thermostat. They like to just block it off. Um, I kind of like to use, uh, uh, Superior makes a little kit to put in them and, and I like it a little better and I'll show you why. But uh, first I'm gonna show you how to get this block off of here, this thermostat block. This is it right here. It's on the 14 and up Chevrolet GMC. Uh, be on the Tahoes, uh, the uh, Suburbans and anything that's got the 6L80, 6L90 and uh, I think even the Allison has uh, has this block on it. So uh, we're gonna pull this block off um, and you'll need a 13 millimeter. I'll break that loose a little bit and then we'll break the line side loose a little bit. Uh, what happens, <clears throat> what's going on with this block is the fluid is just circulating around. Uh, it's not going <clears throat> from, the, from the transmission that comes out and it just goes through the block and back into the transmission when that thermostat is open. Now, as your transmission fluid heats up, then it starts shutting the fluid off and then it routes it out and through the, uh, the transmission cooler. Uh, but until it heats up, it's just circulating it out and back in. What's bad about that is, is uh, if that thing never shuts, then this transmission just keeps heating up. The fluid just keeps circulating around in here. It's never going through the cooler to cool it down. So if you got your boat or your camper or something hooked to this thing and you're rolling down the road um, and this fluid is not circulating through the cooler, you can imagine how hot you're gonna get your transmission. You're gonna cause yourself failure. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna show you what kit I like to use in them and uh and maybe this will help you a little bit but let's get the block off there and then and then we'll go uh then we'll go from there but uh all you do is just take this boat out i do want to show you some seals that you'll want to make sure that you don't lose when you're pulling this off uh you can do this as uh as just a uh a way to save your transmission you know it, it it's if your transmission is overheating, it may be too late, uh, you know, but it's worth a shot to try to, to try to put this in there and, and pull your transmission down. So let's get this off here. All right, gonna lose a little bit of fluid. But if Cody would, you'll wanna save this little little seal and you'll put it back on the block uh, when we're done here you'll see uh, the two little o-ring seals that's in there i'm going to recommend to pull them out and put them on your lines before you go any further and that way that way you don't lose them little guys and you're running around town trying to find somebody that's got seals that'll match at but just save those two little seals right there uh, and just stick them back on the line until you get ready to put this thing back together. But anyway, we're gonna take this inside, we're gonna tear this down and, and see what we got. Okay, we're gonna try to cool down this 6L80, 6L90 transmission. Uh, the thermostats in these things are in this block. I just showed you how to take it off the vehicle, where to find it on the truck. Now I wanna talk to you about what's inside this thing and what's going on. Um, this is the this is the block and here is the parts inside now what you got is a spring sets in there and it holds the thermostat out against this and that's holding it closed as this thermostat heats up this pin comes out shoves it against the block down in here and blocks the fluid off that creates a, a flow straight around through the lines and back through when this is open, you're just getting fluid right out of the transmission and right back into the transmission. There's no fluid going through the cooler lines. So what you do to correct this is, this one here, I heated it up and, uh, and 
even after I passed operating temperature, this pin still didn't want to move out. And then, then all of a sudden it just pops out there. Uh, that's not good. I heat it up slow, so I know this isn't working right. Uh, this transmission came to me, overheated, and, uh, and already had destroyed the torque converter and everything in it. So we're not going to use this back. We're going to try to do away with it completely. Uh, I've got two different kits here that I like to use. One of them is a delete kit. This one here is real simple. It'll come with a pin. This is from Transco. Uh, it'll come with a pin and this little uh, block right here. Uh, this will block your fluid off. You put the seal on it and you drop it down in there. Put the pin in. Put your plug back in and put your snap ring in and that that's as, as simple as it gets you'll just drop that right down in there like that put your pin in and always put a little bit of grease on the uh, uh, put a little bit of grease or something on this seal so that it'll go down in there easy you don't want to cut that seal going back in there put your pin in and put your cap on shove it down in there and put your snap ring in and that's how you install the transgo and this is a delete that's a delete that that completely deletes the system uh, the other one that I have is a superior and I like the superior better and I'll tell you why it's a little more expensive and uh, but when it comes to keeping your truck cool your transmission cool you know 20 or 30 dollars more or whatever it costs more uh, and you can get this off eBay uh, it you know it's worth it it's worth it to keep your transmission cool but you, it comes with a ball check that sits down in there you got a spring you'll put the cone down in there first and then you'll put the sleeve that blocks the fluid off and then you'll put a seal you got a little seal that comes with it here there's also two seals that come with it that go on the end of it now what I like about this one is when you let this thing set, this vehicle set over the weekend or whatever, you go to start it up with the delete system, you're liable to have air in one side of the line and uh, uh, where it's drained down over the weekend. And then when you can start that vehicle up, it'll take just a little bit to get that air out of there. And you could, you could end up with a delayed engagement. Uh, with this system, it balances out the fluid pressure through that ball and through these hoses. So when the fluid comes in, if there's no fluid pressure on the other side, then of course it's gonna push the ball down and it's gonna allow fluid to go on through and, uh, and prime the other side of the, the, the block. So uh, I like this a little bit better. Uh, like I say, it's a little more expensive, uh, but, it's, but it is a little bit better as far as I think the operating part of it, knowing that there's fluid on the other side of the line is, is, a, is a good option with this one. But I know a lot of people that use the delete and they, they have good luck with them too. So um, this one here, I'll show you how to put it together because it is a little bit, uh, little bit hard to get it down in there. You'll drop that in. You'll wanna turn it sideways like this and slide this back in there. Again, you'll want to put some grease or something on these uh, seals, turn it back up, work with it a little bit. It'll pop down in there and you can put your snap ring in and it's ready to go. So I hope this video helps you. I hope we can keep those 6L80s, 6L90s cool. Uh, they also use this on the uh, Allison transmissions, later models, 2014s and newer is what you'll see these on. And, uh, and if you own one of these trucks, you might ought to think about having this done or doing it yourself. Watch this video and do it yourself or have it done by a transmission technician. But, uh, but anyway, uh, please subscribe and I hope this video helps you.